everyone, welcome to another episode of my new series, Beauty and the Bleach. So today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to paint with bleach. It's like paint by numbers, but you're not using numbers, you're going to use like door panels instead and skirting boards. It is such fun. So what you need to do is get yourself some bleachy water, only use a tiny bit of bleach in it. If you don't like using bleach, you don't have to, you can use washing up liquid instead. And you need to get yourself a paintbrush and a microfiber cloth. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start by find your area that you want to do, and you're just going to apply a layer. Imagine you are painting this, literally, I'm like handy manny. Like, just imagine you're applying that paint to the area. You're not like you're going to be applying bleach or washing up liquid, whatever you're using. And what this will do is, um, I had someone contact me a little while ago saying, like, how do they get rid of dust because it keeps settling. Now, what will happen with dust is it will carry on settling. The reason for it is, imagine that the dust is like a bee. Well, basically, the queen bee will send the worker bees off to work and the worker bees will annoy you. They will annoy you to the point that you have a nose bleed and they will land all over your things. Well, that's the dust. Now, the dust is gonna settle all over your house and the only way you can get rid of it is by vacuuming it up, is an option, or you need to use some sort of liquid. I use bleach and water because I feel like the bleach kills the bacteria as well, but you need to use a form of liquid and a microfiber cloth because if you just use a dry cloth, all you are doing is you are just flicking those bees back up into the air and alas, they will just land from your door, they will go off your door and they will land on your stair or they will go from your door and they will land on your chandelier or they will go from your door and they will land on your skirting boards. You will never get rid of the worker bees until the queen summons them home and she's not going to do that so you need to just make sure that you wipe them off. It needs to be a liquid to remove the dust because otherwise it does resettle. I have no time for a feather duster, just putting it out there. So another thing you might not know that bleach is really good for is it's actually really good on glass and it can make glass nice and shiny. So once you put the bleach onto your area, if you've got glass panels like this, like I've got in my doors, what you can do is you can just buff them off with the microfiber cloth and it will um, polish off the glass really nicely without having to actually get any other product on there. So you're literally killing two birds or two bees with one stain or one microfiber cloth and one paintbrush. Um, it's also really good for bleach to stop some condensation. So it's really good to use it in the bathroom. So on like your shower screen if you've got one or a mirror in your bathroom, that's, that's really good because it just takes away any of the condensation. So that is it. And you are good to go. You've got a nice sterile door or skirting board. You can use this all over your house. So I use this like on my doors. In any like crevices that you can't reach, please do use a paintbrush and a bit of bleach or washing up liquid, whichever you choose to use, because I know everyone doesn't like bleach. We can't be friends if that's you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, do give it a go and let me know what you think. And I'll be back again soon with another one of my Beauty and the Bleach vlogs. Goodbye.